Oh! Alright. He's one shot at me. Alright. One shot me through that. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, you better screech. Come on, one shot me through a shield. Oh, I thought he died. <laughs> the Grope Alolly. The Flappy Flopolist. The Ruffle Copter. Does it really matter what it's called when you can just kill it in under 5 minutes? I guess not. Let me show you how to smack this thing. Firstly, grab a fast frame and zip through the mission towards the boss arena. The faster you can get to this arena, the more time you will save. When the fight starts, remove the shields of the Ropololist and head towards one of the energy pylons. This will get the Ropololist to teleport to the pylon where you will need to pass it. As soon as you pass it, it will fire a powerful beam at you which you can use to overheat the pylon. Hop onto the Ropololist and then fly it into the overheated pylon. This will destroy the pylon and you will need to repeat the process two more times. Before you repeat the process, make sure you destroy one of its rear limbs and then use the overcharge panel while it's injured. This will recharge its shields, which you can quickly take down while it is still struggling, and then head towards another pylon. Same situation as before, pass it, have it shoot the pylon, and fly it into the pylon. This will send it to the center once again, break the other limb, activate the panel, remove its shields, and then proceed to destroy the last pylon. All you need to do now is shoot it anywhere on its body to injure it until its health is gone, and then activate the panel one last time to finish it off. That's it. It shouldn't take too many tries to get the hang of it, and always watch out for its beams because it will kill you with ease. So, let's take a look at the builds. I have a standard Volt speed build with adaptation for more durability. You can easily replace any of these mods with their lesser variants. For the Rubico, I have a standard radiation build with a Riven mod. The Ropololist is vulnerable to radiation damage, which is why this build is good at one-shotting the boss. Amalgam Serration is optional, it just makes Vault faster. As for the Operator Amp, I use the 427 configuration, which includes the Certus Brace, Shraxon Scaffold, and Ron Prism. The primary fire is great for long range, and the secondary fire can obliterate shields at close range. Lastly, I use the Xeneric Focus School with the Naramon Dash, which is very useful for speedrunning the boss fight. If I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below. Feel free to ask any questions you may have, and thanks for watching.